Knives at SHOT Show 2022. We are here with Dylan. How's it going, everybody? And uh, so we're going to start off with some knives, some, uh, what are these, uh, yep, field so crafts? Our, yep, so our, our field craft by Brothers of Bushcraft, uh, among our top selling model. We carry this in a, in a 1095 high carbon steel as well as a 154 CM stainless. We've got multiple handle color options. Um, so I think between the, the steels and the handle colors, we've got roughly about 10 different variations, 10 models you can pick through. Um, it's, it's a five inch blade overall. We use our modified Scandi grind on here. Uh, meaning we put a, a slight secondary bevel on the cutting edge, so okay. you still you still get the, the sharpness of a Scandi, but a little tougher working edge, so okay. it's not as thin. Um, we are full tang. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. We okay. are, is that, uh, yeah. that um, burlap? Nope, so that's a tan canvas micarta. It's, it's uh, layers and layers and layers of canvas that's compressed and then uh, epoxied. And then we, we get it in sheets and then machine it into the scales. Now, what is this for? So the, the, the contour up front here is actually meant for a pinch grip. So if you're needing to choke up on your blade for any reason, okay, you actually good. have grooves that will accommodate to help with that nice. pinch grip. Nice. Like, it gives you that little uh, just that little fine, maybe you're making a little feather strip. Yep, absolutely. And so what is this right here? So that right there is a bow drill divot. If you're doing any type of friction fire or primitive fire, uh, you can actually keep this in its sheath so you're safe yeah. and you can put pressure down and put the, the top of your bow in this divot and then run your drill and so that, that just kind of a, a, a socket built into the handle to, okay. to accommodate for a primitive fire. And I see this little mark right here? Yep, so this mark here is what we call a shango notch. Okay. And the reason we do that is because we don't put a 90 degree spine on our knives yeah. because of our differential heat treat. Mm -hmm. So even if we were to put a 90 on this spine to use to, to strike a ferro rod, yeah. it's, the edge is gonna roll because we don't heat treat it like we do the cutting edge. Yeah. So our answer to that is the Shango notch, which can be used in place for a 90 degree spine. Okay, so that's a, your ferro rod tracker. Exactly. Okay, cool. So. Um, what do you have new for SHOT Show? So new, uh, historically, we, we normally have more new models, but what we're trying to focus on now is getting caught back up on our inventory. We do have some new models over here on the table, um, okay. but but again, not, not as many as we usually do. Well, you guys have a great inventory to begin with, so I mean, it's kind of hard. We have quite an extensive catalog, that's for sure. Cool. So, uh, what is the Chapo? It looks like something you carry in the kitchen or camping. Okay, so El Chapo actually isn't a new model itself. The reason it's over here is because we're uh, we're playing around with some different coating options and, and, and different okay. colors of Cerakote. So this is just kind of a, a show and tell. We used, a, I think this is a dark tungsten color. Uh, that looks nice. Color. It looks very nice. But, but yes, this is a cleaver. It's great in the kitchen. It's great at camp. Um, it, it, Definitely, it looks look like something I put in my put in my uh, kitchen drawer because you know it's just nice and tactical. Oh, absolutely! It'll, get, it'll, give it'll, me a, make my make my uh, beef uh, beef stew a little bit easier to cut up. Oh yeah, it'll tear through some meat for sure. Uh, which other ones over here kind of well, pick your interest? What is um what what new do you have? Like uh, what any new designs that you? Then there's no shot show 2021 that you uh, want to show. So this guy here. This is called the MPAT. Right. Yeah. Um, that stands for Multi-Purpose Airman Tool. Uh, we have a we have a gentleman that is uh, that looks nice. That is in the Air Force that uh, flies in fighter jets, and this is actually his design. Um, this is something he he thought up that could go on the, the pilot's vest and their kit. It's very streamlined, so it will stay out of the way. I like that. So the handles aren't overly thick, but there's yeah. there's still enough there to where you, you feel like you get a good purchase on the handle. It's a good good knife. Yep. I, 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 how much is that? Uh, so I don't have a price on this yet. Um, so if, yeah. if if this is something anybody's interested in, go check out our website topsknives.com or any of our social media pages. 
and as we get closer to release dates for any of our new stuff I'll uh, probably we'll, be one of the first to try and get one of these we'll have all that information because, updated uh, on the sites I I didn't see this yet, see this a couple days ago I didn't want to foil myself so <laughs> I'm actually drawn to this now I like it Yep, and again, we've got the tan canvas micarta scales. We've got a tan powder coat. Yeah. Uh, traction coating on here, so very durable. Um, I think got... I just got a new knife. So I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, go ahead, feel it. Not yet. Yeah, I like, I like uh, that. What material is this? Yep, and that'll uh, be housed in, in Kydex yeah, with the uh, beta loop straps that no, you can configure to various different carry it's options. It's no, I just like um, this color. This really good knife yep great knife so uh seth did a very very good job on that design getting a lot of traction what is woodcraft so um there's a knife company called marbles yeah um they've been making knives for probably over 100 years and uh they they came to us and said hey we'd uh we'd like you to to make a version of our woodcraft so this is and we you know and traditionally they have a you know a steel bolster and and the stacked leather uh handles mm -hmm. and and we kind of told them well that that's, that's not really not yeah. really something we do and they're like no we know we want you to put the tops touch on it on a, so this is our version of a modern marbles uh, woodcraft. Uh, we've got tan canvas micarta with the black canvas inlay. So if you if you look there, you can see that that black is inlaid inside of the tan. Okay. And uh, we've got a, a bronze Cerakote on this. Love that bronze Cerakote. Um, it looks this, really nice. This this knife is very comfortable. Um, of our new releases, I'm I'm probably the most excited about this one, personally. It just fits great in the hand. I feel it would be a phenomenal camp knife, hunting knife. I think I know a few people who wouldn't mind picking that up. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm excited. Good little, good little <laughs> knife. Good yeah, little. I'm. I'm really looking forward to that one for sure. Well, cool. And well, Dylan, at top. Thank yep. you very much. And uh, where can people find you on social media? So you can find us at uh, topsknives.com is our website. Uh, Facebook. Top Snipes official. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're we're on pretty much all the platforms. Um, but uh, at Top Snipes, you can you can get a hold of us on any of those platforms. Cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.